So once we've done all of our descriptive analysis, you can see I've got all of the histograms uh, here. Some of them have data labels on them, some of them don't. Um, you can sort of customize those as you see fit as you start working through your data. Um, the next thing that we'll probably want to do is we're looking at these variables independently, but we probably at some point want to also just look at the correlation between these variables and just see what they're like. See if there's any relationships that we can uh, jump out at us. So, um, you know, like most of the things that we've been doing, we're going to use um, the data analysis tool pack. If we go to data analysis and we click on correlation, say OK. Uh, this one's a little bit simpler than what we've been working on before. Uh, we can just sort of click all of these and use a uh, shift control down arrow and that'll grab all of our columns. We do have labels in the first row. And um, I'm going to pick the output range because I sort of know where I want this to go. I want it to go in descriptive statistics and I'm going to put it right there so that we can compare these things to other things. And uh, if everything has gone well, um, we'll get output that looks like this. And this is our correlation matrix. And remember what this lets us do. It lets us explore linear relationships between these variables. Um, usually what I'll do is put a little color coding on it so it's a little bit easier to read. And you can go to home and conditional format. And I like a color scale that's like this. Um, so anything that's green is going to be highly positively correlated and anything that's red is going to be highly negatively correlated. And so if we take a look at, um, you know, one of the sort of, you know, big correlations in there, we've got insulation and temperature. And I think it, you know, makes sense that if you live in a cold place where the temperature is low, you are going to need more insulation. And when you live in a place where the temperature is high, you'll need less. So the fact that those are negatively correlated sort of makes sense. Um, that there's a positive correlation between insulation and heating oil also makes sense. Um, you know, if you live in a place that's cold, you're going to need more insulation. And if you live in a place that's cold, you're going to need more heating. So as your need for heating oil increases, so does your need for insulation um, and vice versa. So you can you know, sort of walk through and identify positively and negatively correlated things pretty easily and start to think about what they mean. Um, you'll notice that the things that are sort of not really green and not really red or you know sort of there's like a pink here where the correlations are very very low and there's um you know sort of a light green where things are also very very low um in these cases uh we, we really you know probably are not gonna be you know using these variables for for that much they don't correlate with anything and we'll see in number of occupants that actually shows up in our linear regression so uh, these correlations are helpful for helping us understand which of these variables might be related in a linear way and we can use that to our advantage downstream when we start to develop our regression models